The Roman Catholic Diocese of Kansas City, St. Joseph, this week agrees to the largest settlement it has ever paid in a sexual abuse lawsuit involving a single priest. The diocese will pay out $2.25 million to the parents of a 14-year-old independence boy who allegedly took his own life 30 years ago after being repeatedly molested by a Kansas City priest. As part of the settlement agreement, the diocese also will erect a bench in the boy's honor outside the parish church. Catholic Church not to do something, not to respond. And plus, it's part of its mission, mercy in general, and just, you know, you have a dead child and you have an agreement. So wh family. why didn't the Catholic Church go to trial on this? Because of the environment. Uh, I mean, and also would just it'd drag it through. We'd get front page stories every day. There's yeah, also a, Mary. Is it, whenever you have a case like this, um, more people do come forward. There is this sort of um, when one person is seeing some sort of justice or even being heard in a courtroom, you do tend to have others come forward. So there's that. In their statement even, the diocese said, there's certainly to a mercy kind of they might offer. Um, you know, for the family, they would have ended up having their son pretty much retried and his character retried through this. That boy died when he was 14. That's all the memories that that family has of that child. There was a point where, let's cut the losses, the issue that Stacy brought up was probably going to be almost relitigated through the trial about that statute of limitations. Um, it was just going to be very messy, probably go to appeal. So the diocese, 2.2 and out of it. Yeah, let me just say that anyone who has paid any attention to the scandals involving the church, not only here but across the country, to suggest that the atmosphere was poisoned by a newspaper article is to ignore what's happening in the Catholic Church which has poisoned the atmosphere across the country because of what its ministers have done and what its leadership has done to cover up that activity and to pay people and to take other steps to shelter assets to try and make sure the public doesn't get a full accounting of what the church has done, irregardless of what might have happened in schools or any other venue. The Catholic Church has a problem which it has systemically refused to admit for decades. That's what's poisoned the atmosphere, not one story in a newspaper or, uh, or allegations or charges made in other publications. Jack, That's I'm going to address problem. that. There hasn't been a molestation case in Kansas City Diocese for 30 years. This is a 30 year old case. Sean Radigan. That's not molestation. Well, That's, okay, that well, well, what is that? What were, okay. what were the settlements sure. that we saw three years no, ago? Hold on. I, okay. I, Let, let's hold just Jack speak for a moment. <laughs> Let him just speak for uh, a moment. And yet, here's what happened last year in the state legislature in Missouri. They finally passed a law to stop what they call mobile molesters. For years, public schools in Kansas City had been, they meet with the attorney, they meet with the union attorney, and they pass them on to a next school district. This has been going on for years. There is no talk of systemic problems in public schools because it's usually limited to the individual and they don't want to bring in a superintendent, they want to bring in a principal. As to that story, there are four people involved, actually five. Uh, two of them were dead. Two of them denied that it ever happened, including one of the young people. And the, and the person who said it happened was the one who was suing. And that ran for four parts just before Christmas, front page story. And if the, that's not poisoning the atmosphere, I don't know what it is. And the Catholic Church 
admitted in court this week by paying this settlement that it felt some culpability for what went on. Now that is the fact okay. of it, and until the church can sort of uh, you know deal with those facts, I think it will. Continue uh, uh, what to what has been the problem. impact? of these cases, though, on the Catholic Diocese in Kansas City, St. Joseph. Has it impacted their coffers, the amount of money that the faithful have given to the church? Well, Mary, they, is there any evidence of a change? a major fundraising campaign, partly because of, you know, some of the negativity that was going around, around when um, Father Sean Radigan was convicted last year. Um, it was on pornography charges, but if you are deep into the weeds on it, there was a lot to that case. Uh, he's sitting in federal prison right now waiting to be sentenced. Um, you know, they, it has hurt things. I mean, you can even hear it in our conversation here. People feel very passionately about this. So, of course, it has affected things. I think the Catholic Diocese here, though, has very deep pockets. You know, they're, I don't see a bankruptcy coming forward, at least, you know, a lot of people hope that they don't. They still have many, many lawsuits, civil suits, hanging out there to settle. So this, we're a long way from the end on these things, unfortunately. Uh, but has it financially, it must have financially hurt though, Jack. Well, I mean, it's $2, 2, mm -hmm. $2 million. It doesn't go to schools, it doesn't go to yeah. charities, it doesn't go to, you know, uh, food kitchens, it goes to uh, lawyers yeah, and to, uh, to families. It's a, yeah. yeah, they're self-insured. I mean, there are ways of managing this that came up in Milwaukee with the whole arguments about their bankruptcy and what Father um, Archbishop Dolan, how he was moving funds. That was a whole issue last week when they finally released some documents. It's an issue. I mean, there's concerns about the new high school you hear people raise all the time. Um, that said, people are, you know, they're very split. People love their church. They love their faith. They love their diocese, their parishes. So, I mean, it's a horrible healing that needs to happen within this whole community. Yeah. Let me just say that Governor Nixon, we should point this out as well, signed a bill this week that requires so-called mandated reporters, which include priests, but other administrators and others, to directly report suspected cases of child abuse to the Division of uh, Children's Services at the state, and not to sort of direct someone else to, to, to make that report, which is, I think, one of the problems we had hard. involving Bishop Finn.